In this video, I'm going to talk about the cost of living in Asheville, North Carolina. So stay tuned. Hi, this is Elena Kavrigin with Nesting Dolls Realty at Realty One Group Pivot here in Asheville, North Carolina. If this is your first time on my channel and you want to know everything about living in Asheville, playing in Asheville, breathing in Asheville, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit a bell to get notified every time I post a new video. I love when people who are moving to Asheville reach out to me. So if you're just thinking, if you need any kind of help, call me, text me day and night, weekends and weekdays, I got you back when moving to Asheville, North Carolina. Overall, cost of living in Asheville is about 6% higher than the national average and quite a bit higher than North Carolina average. So I want to break it down and look at different components that go into the cost of living, such as housing, taxes, transportation, health, utility bills, daycare, food. So let me start from the biggest expense that most people have, and that is housing. Housing in Asheville is expensive. As you can see, it's a lot higher than the national average and even higher than North Carolina average. Median sales price in Asheville is right at about $330,000. And what you get for the money can be different depending on a different part of the town, different neighborhood, different zip code. For example, if you look in South Asheville, you can find a home in 330,000 price range that will be new construction, three bedrooms, two and a half baths, uh, 16 or 1700 square feet with nice finishes, maybe on a quarter acre lot. But if you move to a different part of town, for example, West Asheville, and I'm talking about the West Asheville, what you get for the money changes. The house will be smaller, maybe a thousand or 1100 square feet. It will be older, early or mid 1900s, because that's very typical for what the, the West Asheville uh, area one or two bedrooms, one and a half baths, and even on a much smaller lot because West Asheville is very popular, it's in high demand, everyone wants to be there, so it's expensive to live there. Rent is also expensive, especially in the city of Asheville, in the city limits. If you go a little bit outside of the city, it'll be less expensive, but if you look at, like, let's say, a three-bedroom home, you are guaranteed to have to pay anywhere between 14 and 1800 depending of course again on the location the next big expense for everyone would be taxes that is something that you cannot get away from you always have to pay them or else <laughs> in Asheville, north carolina taxes are not that high compared to some other parts of the country and i'm talking from my own experience working with people from all over the country who come and move to Asheville from um, up north new york california and places like that and for them it's really cheap so here is a typical bill that people who live in the city limits get if you live in the city limits, you're going to have to pay two different taxes, Buncombe County tax and Asheville city tax. And the taxes are calculated at a rate per each hundred dollars of the value of your house. It's not the, how much you pay for the house. It's how much tax department assessed your house at. You could pay $300,000 for your house, but the tax department could assess your property only at like $250,000 or the other way around. But anyways, actual city taxes are 40, basically 42, 43 cents per each hundred dollars of the value of the house and Buncombe County taxes are basically 53 cents per each hundred dollars of the value. And total we pay about thousand dollars for actual city taxes and uh, 1300 for Buncombe County taxes. Now, if you live right outside of the city of Asheville um, or city limits, you would not pay Asheville city taxes. You would only pay Buncombe County taxes. So our house was assessed at 253,000 and we pay right at about 2,400 each year. 
sales tax in our area is right at about 7%. So when you're gonna go to Target or TJ Maxx, you're gonna have to add 7% to the price tag. Hmm. Health expenses are also higher than the national average and they include and calculated um, based on the daily rate for hospital room, costs of a doctor's office visit and dental checkup. A couple of categories that are lower than the national average and actually lower than North Carolina average are transportation and that is the cost of your gasoline, car insurance, maintenance expenses, mass transit fare for the area, things like that. And utilities, uh, also lower than the national average and North Carolina average. Let me show you an example of our bill and we are a family of four, three and a half, me, my husband, a four-year-old and a five-month-old baby. My husband likes to take long showers at least twice a day. I take a shower once a day and, you know, dogs and kids take up some water too, water usage. But anyways, uh, our bill is about $186 every two months. And it also includes the charges for sewer treatment and maintenance. And that's basically the same every every two months and right at about $78 and the rest is your usage for water. All right, as far as energy bills go, this is the example of our energy bill and last month it was right at about $136. We live in 1600 square foot home. It's a two story. Um, my husband always sweating, I'm always cold. He likes to keep it cooler at about 71 degrees. I like to keep it warmer at about 72 degrees in summertime. And so yeah, this is our bill. I have to say in wintertime it's uh, higher. I think because mainly our house is not very winterproof, but that's a topic for a different video. <laughs> Another expense that can be huge for a lot of people depending on the uh, number of kids they have is daycare. <laughs> that can be like mortgage or more. Uh, on average, it's right at about $900. It can be more or less. Uh, we pay right at about $900 for our four-year-old. Uh, now, there are some places that have subsidized spots available, so that's an option, but on average, it's going to be right at about $900. The last category that I wanted to talk about is food. And that is also something that you cannot live without. So you have to go grocery shopping, right? And groceries in Asheville is slightly higher than national average and a little bit higher than North Carolina average. To give you an idea how much some of the items cost, I went to Ingalls and that is our local a grocery store chain and you can find it basically in every part of town they have it everywhere so take a look When it comes to food, I do not always like to cook all the time. We like to go out, especially because we have so many incredible local restaurants in our area. Let's say a family of four can spend easily between 50 and 60 bucks without drinks. And I'm talking about two adults and two kids. Um, if you order drinks, it will be right at about 80 or 90 dollars. If you decide to go on a date night, no kids, just you and him or you and her, <laughs> um, and you decide to have some drinks, it will be easily 80 or $90 or more. And if you like beer, you are in the right place. Asheville is a beer city USA, and we have so many amazing craft breweries in town and the average price for a pint of beer would be about six dollars so do your math if you like bar hopping and taste different beers in different breweries 
um, depending on how much you can drink at one night you can spend anywhere from uh, 20 to 30 dollars plus all these breweries basically have food available for purchase so you're not only spending money on drinks on beer but also food well this is it hit me up if you have any questions don't forget to watch some more videos about what it's like to live in Asheville and most importantly do not forget to hit subscribe button hit a bell to get notified every time I post a new video oh and put a like and a comment down below Thank you.